someone was asking me what makes me an expert on the Philippines, the first thing I want to say is I don't use the word expert to do with the Philippines. Um, I don't like the use of the word. I think it's a bit like awesome. They're overused words normally from a marketing perspective. Um, if, if I was to define my life in the Philippines, it's very simple. I've lived there as a single person. I've lived there as a married person. I've lived there as a family. I've lived there running businesses. I've lived there uh, working with Filipinos. I've lived there working online. I've lived there uh, working as a transient expat. Um, it doesn't make me an expert. It makes me able to define what I did and what my life is and what work for me and warn people the stuff that you need to be aware of but it, I wouldn't use the word expert um, because everyone's life is different the the whole defining thing about the Philippines is to get as much knowledge as possible from different people because what worked for me may not work for you but in the same way I know many people have done a lot of the stuff I've done um, and been quite happy in the Philippines I know several people that contacted me years later and said, Matt, you know, I went to the Philippines because of your blog or whatever. And not one person said, oh, that was a bad mistake or whatever. They've all been, you know, better rounded people from what I'm aware of. Um, so I would say that's the thing you've got to be aware of. You only get a snippet of somebody's life. And I've given you the information that relates to me. But he, you may find uh, like Real Deal, uh, Jay's currently in the Philippines doing his stuff. His connection to Davao, for example, is a very different area. Same as you've got guys in Don Maguete. Um, I've been to Don Maguete, but I don't live there. It's not, it's not where I live. I live in Minzanilia, which is just south of Cebu City. So what I do in Cebu is very, very different to them. My lifestyle has changed over the period of time as well because when we first went there I limited our costs because I needed to know where our budget would be um, but now we spend a fair bit of cash you know we're okay we do what we like here in Spain we're now looking at moving from renting our apartment near the beach to getting a, either a bigger apartment or a, a small villa um, because we're in a position now where we can actually spend the budget to buy something. I don't know, some people are buying property or... Oh. See, the thing is, it's not an investment. It's where we live. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, properties in Spain are stagnant. The price is stagnant. Uh, new houses going up in price because the it's, it's a... How can I explain it? If you bought a piece of land for, say, 50,000 euros, you build a block of flats on it, each flat probably going to cost you 25 30,000 euros. So when you sell it for 60 to 110, 120 euros, you're in severe profit either way. Um, but if you've got an older apartment, let's see these ones. There's some original 80 stuff here. These are on the market for more than I'd be willing to pay. It's as simple as that. Nothing nasty about it, but that's the, that's the reality. The concrete build, the um, the wire, stru the what do you call it, the steel work in them isn't fantastic. They've had to dig some of them out. I've, I've done a video before about it because obviously it doesn't work well with the environment. So, but these ones here are going for about 130, some of them, and they're not worth 130. But that's pro probably because they paid that when the the housing market was on the rise. Um, and they've been caught cool and they can't afford to sell it for less because the banks won't let them, you know, relate to mortgages, etc. But if you take the next line back or the one after that, you can get some really good deals because you're finding, I mean, the one we're looking at at the moment is a three bedroom house for 90,000 euros. Um, but there's another one just further up, but it's a bit too far from the plaza for us. Same design, same build, you know, same builder. Um, but it's got a swimming pool in the back, a um, shared one, between it has got like 20 houses with a swimming pool in the middle. Um, 
and that's 89,000. But at the same time, right on the beach, 130,000 for a two bedroom flat. There needs to be a modernization. You know, you'd probably be spending 10,000 on the internals and probably another five to 10,000 on the externals, you know, just to, to get it with something I'll be happy with anyway. But anyway, I forgot what I was talking about now. <laughs> uh, yeah, expert. No, it's not an expert, it's sharing my life experiences. That, that, that's, that's what I do. Um, here in Spain, I'm sharing what I do. It's, it's not saying you must do this or you must do that. It's sharing what I do and how I do it. Um, because I know a lot of people want to change the way they live. I, I get emails and stuff from people saying, I want to travel more. I'll, I'll see what you mean about the cost of living in the UK. Um, and when you look at it, although we can earn more in the UK, we're actually spending more. Where we lived in Spain, our life could be a little bit more humble, but at the same time, a better quality of life. You know, sitting on the beach, watching the sunset. I mean, the sunset's nice over at the park, but I'm not going over the park at this, at this time. Anyway, thanks for watching.